Hello friends. Now let us see this example that is computing 8 point DFT using DIF FFT algorithm. Now here the sequence is given xn is having value 1 for the values of n starting with 0 to 7 that means for all 8 points its amplitude is 1. Now by the same steps we will divide these 8 samples into first 4 samples and last 4 samples that is nothing but writing the sequence as it is. So all the values are going to be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1 x0 to x7. Now here number of samples are 8 and if I equate to 2 to the power 0 because it is a radix to FFT algorithm we will get the base or radix as 3 that means here it is going to be a 3 stage decimation 4.2 stage 8.3 stage now we will map them so again first we will map with x0 with x4 then x1 with 5 x2 with x6 and this is x3 with x7 in reverse way also this is it and final term x3 with x7 even if I am writing this x0 x1 this is x2 x3 this one is 4 5 6 and this is x7 this is going to be the first stage of decimation now we write to the downside multiplication with minus 1 and for the upward movement it is going to be plus if you need to write 1 it will be fine this is with plus 1 now this is first stage of decimation now we will come across second stage decimation now in second stage of decimation so in second stage decimation the mapping should be between two points only so we will map x0 with x2 x1 with x3 similarly x0 x2 x1 with x3 next x4 x6 two points x5 x7 similarly x5 x7 see in this case four point in this case two point this is four point because this is divided into first four samples and last four samples so x0 if i add four we'll get x4 x1 x5 x2 x6 and x3 with addition with 4 we will get x7 so in this way you can remember the terms now we will again write the total factors first we will try to multiply them this is going to be minus now coming to the point of total factor this is 8 point so the total factor for first stage will be omega naught omega 8 1 omega 8 square omega 8 raised to 3 in second stage omega 8 not omega 8 square omega 8 not and this is omega 8 square final stage of decimation this is going to be between two points only one this is and between these two samples between four with five six with seven this is minus 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 and this is minus now they have multiplied with total factor only one omega eight zero omega eight zero and this is again omega eight raised to zero so we'll put those terms now this is output x naught this will be x4 this is x2 this is x6 x1 5 this is 3 and this is going to be 7 so you can see again they are being reversed DIT DIT ka jo input tha wo yaha par uh, output hai and uh, the output is now input this is the difference now we will find output of first stage we will write a0 a2 a3 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 and this we will consider b0 b1 b2 b3 4 5 6 and 7 now we'll 
write them one by one I am keeping this in a way like this one this is the previous example that we have seen so we will write now output of first stage output first stage decimation so we will try to write those equations here it is first equation we will write for a naught a naught is equal to a naught is having first input as x naught plus if you see this equation this is x4 so addition of x naught with x4 similarly a1 a1 is having first input x1 so now if i add 4 to this there is no need of looking back we will get x5 a2 obviously first input will be x2 and if i add 4 to this we will get x6 similarly a3 first input will be x3 plus x7 so in this way you can remember them just addition of 4 4 samples now coming to the uh, reverse part a4 so for a4 if you see it is having the first input as x0 this is minus so minus second input is x4 so it is a difference of x0 with x4 with total factor omega 8 naught then total factor omega 8 1 8 square and 8 3 so based on that we will write them this is x0 minus x4 multiplied with omega 8 naught a5 x1 minus x5 omega 8 raised to 1 a6 x2 minus x6 omega 8 square and a7 is x3 minus 7 into omega 8 raised to 3 now we'll just put those values uh, we have this term x0 is given 1 all the terms are going to be 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 this is also 2 2 and this one is 2 now from here onwards if you see uh, we have to take difference difference of 1 with 1 is 0 0 this is 0 and this is 0 so there is no need of multiplying them because the result is going to be 0 now this is the output of first stage decimation now we will come across second stage decimation so I am writing it here only output second stage now the outputs are b0 and b7 so first we will write the equation for b0 we will keep it side by side so first b0 I am writing this equation b0 is equals to b0's first input is a0 so we can write this is equals to a0 plus the second input we are getting as a2 so it is addition of a0 with a2 next b1 b1 is having first input as a1 plus second input is a3 so again if you see there is a difference of two samples only while addition similar next b2 b2 it is a subtraction of this is multiplied with minus 1 so difference of a0 with a2 and with total factor so a0 minus a2 omega 8 naught b3 obviously take difference of these two a1 minus a3 into omega 8 square similarly b4 shall we write directly now b4 is an addition of a4 with a6 yes so a4 plus a6 b5 is equals to a5 plus a7 now remaining terms are going to be their difference b6 a4 minus a6 into omega 8 raised to 0 see uh, if you are having this term it well and good but even by with the looking butterfly structure <coughs> we can write the equations so b7 i am writing now difference of these two a5 minus a7 into omega 8 square now we will just put those values that we got <coughs> a0 a2 these two are 2 2 so if i write this term here we will get this value as 2 and 2 that is going to be 4 a1 with a3 a1 a3 both are 2 so this is going to be again 4 now b2 
it is a difference of a naught with a2 these two values are same 2 and 2 that means 0 this is also 0 now b4 addition of a4 with a6 a4 a6 both are 0 so this is 0 b5 a5 plus a7 these two values are 0 so this is 0 b6 subtraction of a4 with a6 now both are 0 so this is 0 and again this is going to be 0 that means we got the terms as 4 4 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 this is the second stage output now we'll come across final stage output of third stage output third stage so we we'll again take help of this butterfly diagram or butterfly structure first x naught x naught's first input is b naught and second input is b1 so addition of these two we'll write x naught is equals to b naught plus b1 then next is x4 x4 is a difference of c this is multiplied with minus 1 so difference of b naught with b1 so b naught minus b1 into omega at raised to 0 now if you write total factor 1 at the same because omega at raised to 0 is 1 next is x2 x2 is addition of b2 with b3 x6 is difference of these two b2 minus b3 omega 8 naught then x1 addition of b4 with b5 so this is b4 plus b5 and x5 is difference of these two b4 b5 omega 8 naught next is x3 b6 plus b7 and this is x7 difference b6 minus b7 into omega 8 naught now we have already determined these values we will just put those values so the first term b0 plus b1 b0 and b1 both are 4 4 that means x0 becomes 4 plus 4 as 8 difference of these two 4 minus 4 will be 0 so x4 is 0 x2 b2 with b3 b2 b3 are 0 so we will get x2 as 0 next is x6 difference of b2 with b3 0 x1 is b4 b5 now here onwards all the values are 0 that means we can write directly this is 0 this is 0 x3 is 0 and as well as x7 is going to be 0 that means we got the output sequence now as 8 0 0 0 0 like this one so finally we will write the output sequence of dft x of k is equals to 8 and all the values are 0 so if you write them in a sequence we will get 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is 8 so this is going to be our 8 point dft I hope you got those concepts so if you are if you are liking our videos please share uh, and subscribe also thank you